With only 10 days left until the test drive, I asked Chester to take me around the car and show me what he had already done and what was left still that has to get done. And here's what I found out. The power plant of the car is a nine inch DC motor that should produce about 237 foot pounds of torque. Uh, we used the stock engine mounts and designed our motor mount uh, to incorporate them. Here's our adapter plate made out of 6061 aluminum. It mounts our motor to the transmission. The only missing component of the drivetrain is our flywheel, which is getting machined today, which we have custom designed to be lighter and more appropriate to our application of keeping the clutch with the electric motor. The controller basically tells the electric motor how fast to spin and we plan on mounting it right here. The electric power steering pump on the Mini requires no modification for us to use. The only major modifications that will be happening inside the cabin will be the addition of several gauges showing the voltage and current. This is the stock throttle pedal off the Mini which features the drive-by wire which we'll be incorporating into our controller. Next to our battery charger will be our DC to DC converter. Our battery charger which will recharge the battery pack will be situated in here. By removing the rear seats, we can install an extra battery pack which will ex extend our distance we'll be able to travel. Instead of filling it up with gas, you'll now be plugging in your battery charger into your normal household outlet right through here. Underneath the car where the gas tank used to be, we'll be installing quite a number of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, and we're guessing we can approximately get about 36 out of the 56 batteries that we need just in this region. I feel like I really learned a lot from Chester today. He taught me that there are 12 main components to this entire EV project and that so far the only one of them that is mostly done is the power steering pump which required no effort on their part whatsoever. So now there's only 10 days left and it's pretty evident that they are not going to make the deadline. And that's just painful for me to watch because I have never failed to meet a deadline for anything in my entire life. I don't usually backdoor brag, but when I do, I like it to be on the world wide interwebs. So stay plugged in, my friends.